Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen, Pauna's kitchen. In today's episode, I'm going to share some weird or in my opinion, an amazing kitchen hacks. The very first one is tension rods. I mean, it's very useful, tension rods. You must be familiar with tension rods. Um, they are probably used mostly in the uh, bathroom, uh, for the curtains and all that but they are very helpful in the kitchen cabinets drawers and almost everywhere so I actually bought for $11 I got this four tension rods they are like from um, 12 to 24 inches so from one uh, foot to two feet you can extend it now it is very important to take a measurements before ordering uh, for the project that you're going to use for it is recommended that you take the measurements very well uh, because this is the shortest it can be and uh, the longest it can be up to um, two feet so it is very important that you pay attention to the measurements and let me show you how one can use them Tension rods are very versatile as they can be installed and uninstalled easily. Twist counterclockwise to lengthen the tension rod or clockwise to shorten it. It's been a long time I wanted to declutter my cabinet's drawers. As you can see this one has a lot of spices in it but uh, hard to see the names. So I decided to organize them with uh, the tension rod. All you have to do is just uh, install the tension rod and then uh, arrange all the um, spices bottles the rod will prevent your spices from rolling around while keeping the jars organized and easy to grab now i can see the names very easily as you can see i do not have to keep on uh, picking for the names tension rod is very useful to divide the cabinets or drawers as well as you can see uh, all the cutting boards kept falling so i used tension rod to divide the um, drawer in now not to worry about cutting boards falling every time tension rod is also great for the sink after washing the dishes hang your wet uh, dish towels or the clothes in the sink with the help of a small tension rod Tension rod can be used for many, many other small projects to organize your kitchen really well. You will absolutely love to use them in many, many ways. So that was about tension rods. Um, the second one I have is something I have in my pantry. Over the door hanging pantry organizer. I simply love this organizer. Large pockets fit almost any size of seasoning. See through what are stored inside the pocket. Keep your kitchen nice, neat and organized. Um, hangs on standard door uh, rod, no hardware needed. Pretty large with 24 pockets. Uh, the third one is three tier counter and cabinet corner shelf organizer from the dollar store actually and uh, as you can see these shelves are very helpful to keep things organized whether it's a bowl cups plates i went ahead and bought several of them because i needed them in many many of my cabinets lazy susan organizers are very helpful as well so that you can get the stuff from the back easily you do not have to keep on going at the back to grab something and again as you can see i have so many uh three tier shelves in many other cabinets the um organizer in the refrigerator as well so anytime i want something i do not have to pull out all the stuff out i can grab easily without lifting the you know the stuff underneath um, the ingredient that I want number four is I have like under the sink storage it's a kind of a plastic but very sturdy and uh, it helps me to organize a lot of tiny tiny things really well again it is not required to spend a lot of money you can always come up with some cheap ideas uh, when it comes to um, actually storing stuff um, there are a lot of DIY ideas and a lot of um, uh, things that you can come up with uh, um, cheaper than what you can get in the market but i invest slowly one at a time in one thing 
This is expandable under sink organizer uh, two tier storage rack for our kitchen. It can be used for other purposes as well. Made with expandable stainless steel pipe and the removable plastic shelves makes it easier to adjust around the pipe under the sink. The cabinet under the sink was very important for me to organize it really well because now I have most of the drawers in very less cabinets. So there are some tall items that I couldn't fit in um, to the drawers. So now here I have my oil dispenser now under the sink cabinet. Um, may not be a good idea but works great for me so far. Um, I got this two tier organizer um, so that I can fit in like random items like candles and many other stuff uh, in there. Um, on the side over there I have all the uh, cleaning supply. Um, this is to organize the grocery bags. Um, this is the stool so whenever I don't need I can just fold in and get in that area. My number five is a uh, fruit and vegetable um, tier basket which is very helpful. It uh, keeps all my fruits and vegetables organized and you know as soon as I buy from the grocery um, just wash them and keep them in the basket and they get all the air and the sunlight or the light they, they need um, to stay good. I mean some of the vegetables like potatoes they don't need light because otherwise they will just sprout uh, but mostly like uh, for foods and some um, other random vegetables. Even I'm keeping my onion and potatoes in there but uh, I um, don't see any problem so far. Fruits and vegetables basket. Now I don't have to have baskets on the counter. Number six, um, I have done something in my kitchen that uh, you know blocks the messy kitchen. I mean my kitchen is hardly messy but sometimes you know like if you have a lot of stuff in your um, kitchen I just don't like to um, show to the people as soon as they enter into my house and uh, my um, whole area is open so as soon as somebody enters uh, what they see is my living room my kitchen my dining area and all that so everything is almost you know in just one um, shot people can notice everything so I like to um, I mean I could have uh, um, told the the kitchen maker guy to m put something over there, but I didn't want something permanent I wanted something that I can even use as a storage or something and uh, um, So that I didn't want kind of a wall it would have uh, Spoiled the look of the kitchen as well. So uh, you can always come up with something cheaper uh, Anyway, so that's what I have over there a few things bother me like sneaking into the kitchen and then when the kitchen is messy people as soon as people walk in they can see everything so I got this uh, organizer that I have uh, uh, sticked to the counter so it doesn't fall because it's very on the edge of the counter so I can have some random um, stuff to store in and at the same time it hides all the um, you know messy stuff in the kitchen if needed go for another one but that may again ruin the look of the kitchen so uh, but just for the idea i'm just showing that you could even use two of them to organize stuff in the kitchen i bought these storages from ikea number seven the oil dispenser i have been getting question about um, the oil dispenser for so long now but I never shared and I thought it is time for me to share about oil dispenser. It's very simple and uh, I'm sure many of you might be already using it. The one that I had earlier, I used it for more than 10 years. I bought that from Walmart and uh, just broke like a couple of months ago. So I um, tried to find uh, the similar one at Walmart but uh, I couldn't find one. So I went ahead and bought this one from Amazon. This is the best deal I found so far. Uh, four pack of gallon pump dispensers. Uh, you could buy actually single but uh, I found they are pricey and uh, why not go for four so that if one of them break I can use it again um, or I can use for a variety of oil bottles as I said. 
So this is the best deal so far I see on Amazon. You could try eBay even or even Walmart online. So mostly all um, big dot coms have them anyway. So you could uh, you can order one and uh, uh, what if it, they don't exactly fit with your container? Well, in that case, you may have to come up with some kind of idea. But as soon as you see it, it's very like easy. You will get the idea how you're going to, you know, fix this uh, oil dispenser. Let me show you something that um, the container that I had before used to be like a had like a with a wide cap. Now this cap actually works pretty well for these kind of containers because uh, it's exactly the the same size. But what if you have a different containers that um, you know that don't fit with this um, oil dispenser in that case you have to you know cut so this is what I used to do with my old containers and they were they had a like a little bigger um, caps so I would make the hole and then through this hole then you can uh, insert the dispenser the oil dispenser so pretty simple easy and I just kept this to show you guys anyway <laughs> um, let's put it back here so this is very helpful uh, in many ways by this time i know how much amount of oil this dispenser um, dispense in one press so when you get the dispenser like this you can just uh, you know uh, press once and uh, take out some oil in one of the container and see how much that uh, oil is just i would use measuring cup so that i know um, how much it dispenses. now most likely if you press it the same way every time you will get the same amount of oil most of the time so for my cooking and for some baking um, I do not measure oil anymore I just you know dispense just one press or two press depending on how much I need um, so that makes it very easier now as I said uh, you can buy like a uh, four of them from Amazon uh, which you can use for different uh, kind of containers now I have like different variety of um, oil in my kitchen I use for cooking I have a uh, like this is canola oil I have peanut oil I have olive oil so basically you can use you know the dispenser kit for all those uh, big containers instead of taking them out into like a small containers I mean sometimes small containers are needed and I do have even small containers um, you know like this so this one um, one of them has olive oil one of them has peanut oil and this one is also like a regular canola oil so the small containers are needed as well when you want to use just like a oil um, drop by drop like uh, I bake uh, bread in the morning every morning actually my Indian bakri roti uh, I need like a drop of oil every time I um, bake my bread so uh, those are the containers you know very helpful but uh, you do not have to invest in all these containers you can just uh, go by your need uh, you may not probably need all these things um, so whatever i'm sharing today it may not make sense for everyone so that's the reason i said uh, weird or maybe i could say amazing hacks so just to grab whatever um, you like whatever you think will work in your kitchen and uh, so hope that will help you um, Keep your life easier I mean uh, for me I always try my best to make my life easier because I cook a lot and uh, from morning to evening breakfast lunch dinner snacks sometimes even um, so my kitchen is like a mini restaurant um, and I prefer to make everything uh, functional like even the kitchen my old kitchen was not bad at all it just that was missing a lot of functionality and that's the reason um, I wanted to have new kitchen have we lost the track? I think I am on number eight. The soap dispenser. I already shared dedicated video on how to set up your um, soap dispenser and uh, use it. Uh, it's very functional. It's very uh, convenient. And uh, every time it runs out of the soap, all I have to do is just to replace the, the huge big container. And I don't have to worry about almost six, seven months. Uh, because a lot of time I use my... Um, dishwasher so that also saves me some you know time and energy in the kitchen so let me show you how to make your very own soap dispenser that you will never need to refill ever again all you need is just to replace the bottle 
the original soap container. For this project, I assume that you already have the soap dispenser, the liquid soap container. All you need to get is the tube from one of the nearest hardware store. At the hardware store, you can get a variety of sizes for the tube. I got quarter inch tube for this project. It costed $2.82 only. Also in the plumbing and uh, faucet repair area, you can uh, buy the soap dispenser. They come in a variety of uh, style, design, metal or white. So you can just pick your favorite. Let's work on the bottle. Remove the cap of the soap bottle. And the center of the cap needs to be removed. So I'm going to use screwdriver. Simply push to cut and make the hole like this. This is your permanent cap. Now coming to the tube. As you can see, tube is all round and not straight. Even if you try to use it, uh, it's not going to stay straight. So it will be hard to get the liquid in. So in order to do that, I got the straw and one of the tube from my shampoo bottle actually uh, that fits really well with the tube. So just connect the tube with the straws and this is a straw actually that is used for uh, drinks. As you can see probably you might be knowing already but works great for me. And now to make this whole thing work, take the cap, insert, connect the straws as much as you can, just uh, push in. And now the straw part, place inside the, the soap bottle, secure it. And another end needs to be connected with a dispenser. So let me show you where the other end of the tube goes in. Hopefully you can see it. So it is in the dispenser. It's very hard to get back off the sink. So hopefully you can see it. Basically just connect it to the dispenser. The whole project is something like this. It will take a little bit of a time to get the liquid into the tube. So just keep pressing the dispenser until you get the liquid for the first time. After that, it will be easier every time you want to dispense the liquid. When the liquid is about to get finished, it's time to change the bottle. So get the bottle, new bottle, remove the cap and replace the bottle. So take out the whole thing with the cap and just put it in a new container. And all done. So the dispensers are really helpful. Also, one thing I forgot to mention that you may have to cut the tube that comes with it. Now, when you cut the tube, make sure you cut in angle so that the oil doesn't get stuck and you get the flow. You get the nice flow of oil every time. Uh, uh, it's pretty common. I mean, you will see when it comes. It When it comes in the original um, dispense kit, um, the, way it, the way it is cut is like in angle. So you're going to follow the same when you cut the tube. All right, let's put this on the side now. So we talked about two kinds of uh, uh, dispensers that you can use in your kitchen to make your life easier. Coming to number nine. One more thing I wanted to share with you all is my built-in vacuum in the kitchen now. So I get all the dust uh, from the whole kitchen in this area and then use this built-in vacuum. This vacuum sucks all the, the dust very quickly and efficiently. 
with just touch of a button. So I bring all the dust here and then press this. Number 10, um, I have invested in a few things when I uh, did this kitchen. Now again, as I said, you don't have to spend money on uh, the things that you think it's not worth for your kitchen. You can always come up with a cheaper idea. Even the tension rods that I talked earlier about, you can actually organize a lot of stuff with uh, um, the tension rods itself. So I have one pull-out drawer in this area, the other pull-out drawer in that area. Uh, it's like a, it's called a, a blind corner um, pull-out cabinet, which you know comes out all the way out from the corner, so you can still use it because. Uh, earlier I had that corner right there, but I was not able to use it because I would have to go all the way in um, to you know like uh, put something in and the hard part was when I needed something and when I needed to grab something all the way from in it was very um, hard. So this time <laughs> I was like uh, this kitchen was the uh, result of like many thoughtful ideas like you know a lot of uh, uh, time that I spent um, thinking about each and every uh, thing that I um, you know thought that would change my kitchen and the way I use it and this is the blind corner I'm so glad I got this blind corner cabinet so all I have to do is just pull this one first out and bring that on the side and here I have the another one that all I need to do is pull out and get the stuff that I want. I don't have to get into the cabinet all the way. It's very painful to get into it every time. So now I can have more stuff here because this is the closest cabinet to the stove. So I wanted it more functional. Pots and pans are needed almost every time I cook. So here I can organize all the lids for the pans and pots. And in the bottom one, I have all the pans. And easy to grab because I can pull out all the way. So those are the pull out tier um, cabinets. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. You can also download Bounas Kitchen apps totally free on your iOS, Android and many other mobile devices. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Bounas Kitchen is almost everywhere. You can watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire or YouTube app itself. Thanks for watching and see you soon.